What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to safely open up and clean your laptop. Mine has basically been overheating and I think uh, it's been a year since I opened it up so it's hopefully just gonna be dust and that's what I'm gonna be showing you in this video is how to clean out your laptop if it is getting hot. So let's just get right into it and get this started. Okay, so you will need a screwdriver, usually a Phillips head. A star screwdriver and you will need a brush or a vacuum if you want a better clean go with a vacuum but a brush will work that's what I'm going to be showing you today like I said this is going to be done on a Toshiba satellite laptop but this is going to be the same for most laptops it just might be uh, look a little bit different in different positions the first step is going to be removing the battery usually you just hit the clips and you can pull out the battery you're going to want to do this before opening up your laptop don't try to open up the base without removing your uh, battery you just put it off to the side Next thing you're gonna want to do is remove all the screws on the base Once you have all the screws uh, removed, you're just gonna want to put them off onto the side Next thing you're gonna want to do is remove the hard drive cover on mine It's one screw some of them aren't don't even have a screw So you just want to take that screw out if there is one and pop that cover off so this is the hard drive usually uh, there is a screw holding it down, at least mine is. So you're going to want to take that screw out and then you'll be able to remove it. So you just slide it one way and you'll be able to pull it right out. Now this is a Toshiba hard drive. And if you need to replace it, now is the time to do so. Usually they're not something you need to replace unless there's a major problem with it. So you just push it off to the side. Next thing you're going to want to do is remove all the remaining screws. Once you take that cover off, there will be screws under there. And you're going to also want to remove the screw for your uh, CD drive. Once the screw is out of the CD drive, mine's already done here, you'll be able to slide it right out. You'll just be able to pull onto the ledge of it and pull it right out. Put it off to the side as well. And then once all the screws are removed underneath the hard drive cover, uh, usually where the CD drive came out of, you'll be able to pull that up. Now you can, if it is new laptop, miss this step because new laptops don't have an external, uh, sorry, an internal CD drive. So you're just going to want to pull off the base. Mine is dirty here, so I'm going to have to clean it. So I'm just going to put it off to the side for now. So here's the inside of your laptop. As you can see right here is your fan. So you're going to want to remove the fan. Now there usually is two, sometimes three screws holding it down. Mine has two, so you're going to want to remove all these screws and you're going to want to unplug it. As you can see here, it is pretty dirty. You can see the whites on there. Once uh, done, the fan can be removed. You just pull it right out and you'll be able to see the exhaust. Uh, I'm going to call it an exhaust port. And usually there is a thin buildup of dust right on there. So you're just going to take your brush, dust it out as best you can, pull off all the dust that is covering up that vent. Uh, that you can visibly see and just going to take the brush right to it this is all that was covering up my vents I know it doesn't look like much but whenever it is built up and blocking it completely even if it is a thin amount it does cause damage and then you're going to want to take it to the fan you're going to want to take the brush to the fan and remove all the dust and the white caked on dust off of it and then you're going to want to go on to your uh, cover for your laptop and you're going to remove all the dust out of there. If you're going to clean your laptop, you might as well clean all the dust off of everything. It's just easier than you know it's 100% clean. You don't have to do it for another six months or maybe even a year. So now once it is all done and you have all the dust out of it, it's all clean, you'll be able to reassemble your laptop. So just put your fan back in where it went. Make sure that you plug it in. Put the two screws back in and it should be perfect right there. Next, you're going to want to put the cover or the base back on. You're basically going to be reversing all the steps that I just showed you. So you're going to put it on and you're going to make sure that it clicks down. Some of these laptops, it is uh, hard, but you're going to want to make sure that you hear it click all the way around. Next thing you want to do is put the CD drive back in. Push it in all the way, as you can see here. And then you're going to want to put your hard drive back in. So you're just going to set it in the opening and you're just going to slide it back in to plug it back in. And then you're going to want 
to put the screw back in for the CD drive, your hard drive, and all the screws that uh, are in this the hard drive cover that were underneath there. Once you have that done, you can put the hard drive cover back on and tighten up that screw. Right there. And then you're gonna to wanna to put in all these screws that are on the base that you took out at first. Once you have that all done, it's time to put the battery back in. So you usually just set it in, you hit that little lever, and then it should be able to click back in. Now the last step that I always do is make sure that it turns on. So you're going to want to open it up, make sure that it turns on fully because if the hard drive is not plugged in all the way, it won't be able to turn on. So you're going to want to check it just to make sure. Okay, so that is how I open up and clean my laptop. Like I mentioned in this video, this can be done with any laptop pretty much. Just some things might be in a different position. Mine is a Toshiba satellite laptop and also, like I mentioned in this video, I have to do this once every year to my laptop because that's whenever it starts to get hot. How you notice uh, how often to clean out your laptop is whenever you clean it out, uh, once it starts to get hot to the touch, that's when you know it's time to clean it out. So if you clean it out now in a six months to a year, once it starts to know, that's how you'll know the time frame to how often to clean out your laptop. If you leave your laptop in a more dusty area or you use it in a more dusty area in your home, you might have to clean it out once every six months, but for me, it is once a year. And another thing I want to mention is most laptops, it is a Phillips head screwdriver. That is what I used in this video. That's the most common one, but you're going to want to check your laptop as well. And also uh, a vacuum does work best. Now I use a brush in this video and I was surprised with how good of a clean that you can get with just a brush. The main reason why I didn't want to use a vacuum is because it is bigger, so it would have been kind of awkward in the way of me recording, and it also would have been loud, and I didn't want to give you guys that loud noise in the video. So I did use a brush, and it worked out a little bit best, but I would still recommend a vacuum. It's more of an accurate clean and more thorough of a clean. The first time that I opened up my laptop, I used a vacuum. It did work out a little bit better, but I was surprised with how good of a clean that I got with just a brush. So. Regardless of if you use just a vacuum or a brush, you will want to use a vacuum with a brush attachment. So if you are using a vacuum, you will want to still use a vacuum with a brush attachment because with the bristles of the brush, you're going to be able to actually push it in of the fan and get all of the dirt that is caked on the fan. Uh, another thing that I want to mention is... You can use an aerosol can. A lot of people show you on how to clean out your vents of your uh, laptop without opening it up. I would recommend opening it up myself just because when I showed you in this video of what was covering up my vent, uh, that, that uh, small piece of dirt that was rolled up, that was actually uh, over the entire vent. That was a thin layer of it over the entire vent, basically blocking any of the air that the fan is trying to blow out blocking it from actually blowing it out. And that's why the fan was starting to get hot because the air wasn't being able to be removed. It was just basically staying in there. So it was getting really hot and became hot to the touch. So it you can clean out most of the dirt off of the fan that was caked on of the fan by blowing air into the vents. But by doing that, you are basically blowing the dirt that is in your laptop, just blowing it in further into your laptop, which to me, I would not recommend. And by also use blowing air into the vents, you're not able to clean what is in between the exhaust fan and the uh, fan itself. So you're not be able to clean out that thin layer of what I showed you. You won't be able to clean that out. So it's easier to open it up, remove the fan and remove the dirt there. That's what I would recommend doing. That's the easiest way to do it. The first time that you open up your laptop, everything is going to be a little bit more stiff. Uh, so just take your time with it. The base of the laptop and some of the other parts are thin plastic, so you don't want to reef on them too hard because you will crack and snap them, break them. You're not going to want to do that. You will have to use a little bit more force than what I showed in this video because this isn't the first time that I did it. Uh, this is about the this is the second time I opened up my laptop. So you are going to want to uh, just take your time. Don't be too forceful, but you are going to want to use more force than I used in this video. So this is how I open up my laptop. I hope this has helped you guys understand a little bit more of how to open up your laptop and clean it out. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.